Power 93.7, WBLK, the People Station. You know the steal. If you don't, now you know. Your boy still about money on the inside, setting the vibe. And I'm kind of hyped and excited. When I get hyped and excited, my luxuriousness lays flat. You like that, don't you? I got the boys from, uh, I, I don't know how to categorize y'all. I don't want to say for one movie, because y'all do this. Y'all make movie movies. We talking pure. Mm. We talking bartenders. We talking mm. pure, too. We talking hunger pains. Mm. We talking conflicted. And y'all boys is doing y'all thing, man. I've been a fan from y'all for a minute. But the people who may live under a rock, they introduce the two boss men. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Yo, what up? Man. It's your boy, A.K. Reed Films. Stu's King, writer, author. And smooth R&B voice. You forgot Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You forgot All that. I, I'm being super cool. I'm being super cool. Uh, <laughs> trying not to be excited because I'm, I'm up here with you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm hyped y'all boys had time to come up here. And of course, we got some of the stars from the movie Conflicted. We're going to touch them in a minute. But I really want to get to the process of how you guys got to this point. All right, now I was talking to Reed a little bit mm-hmm. before we got started here. So we started with bartenders when you right. were rapping, spitting them hot fi- hot flames, right? You know, I got, you can say that. You can say that. <laughs> That's what they said. So how did it turn out to you actually getting into the movie game and making movies? You know, I wanted to, to do a music video to one of the songs I had, and it was called Bartenders. And uh, they was looking at the footage, and they was like, yo, it, this looks like, some, like a movie already. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's going to be a music video. So from that, I just turned it into a movie. Now, you know no I mean? training. Just like that, no training, no prior experience. Self-taught. No, no schooling, no budget, no script. I like that. Just a bunch of people who believed in me. I like that. You know that. what I mean? I but like see, that. I showed them first that it could be done just by just being consistent. You know what I mean? And it happened. So what was it that actually put the battery in your back other than people saying, yo, this looks nice visually? Like, what was it that actually did that? Say, you know what? We can actually do this at a high level. You know, I've always been a creator. I've always been creative. So once I got into that, I felt like, wow, this is a way I can actually express myself. And just to be able to see it visually, it was like, wow, this is, maybe I am meant for this. That's dope. You know what I mean? so let's, let's drop the breadcrumbs. So that was bartenders. Now, how we get Deuce involved? How did the Deuce and the Reed connection begin? Uh, he could tell you that. No, I was actually, I was um, at a friend of my house, and they was turning me on the bartender. They was like, yo, this dude did a movie called Bartenders. I, I, had not, I hadn't heard about it. Mm-hmm. So when I watched the movie, I seen that there was some people that I recognized. I actually went to grade school with Reed. That's dope. Mm-hmm. And I was a couple of years older than him, but you know, I remember him from when we was younger. Mm-hmm. And I was just so excited about somebody from Buffalo that was doing movies. And I was just actually writing at the time. So uh, a couple of days later, one of the guys who was in Conflicted, I seen him. And I dope. still was on a high from a couple of days ago. And I was like, yo, bro, whatever y'all need me to do, man, y'all got my assistance. I get a call about two, three days later, like, yo, Reed, want to meet with you. So we okay. come to the table. For me to be in bartenders too. Mm-hmm. Just so happened, I bought some stuff that I had written down. It was like, yo, I be, I be writing. And he read like two or three pages. It was like, yo, fam, you gotta write the next movie. Because <laughs> yeah. mind you, at the time, I wasn't writing. I was just freestyling. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? So, so when just... he came and he set them papers on the table and read that joint, I was like, yo, bro. Light bulb went off. Man. Like ding, ding, ding. I, already, I saw, I saw the whole future from there. <laughs> hey, you gotta understand yeah. this too. I, ne- I never wrote no movie script or nothing. This is I was writing a novel, and he was like, yo, you gotta go write the next. The next script, I was like, I don't know how to write no script. He was like, yo, you about to go learn. And then we just start pushing each other. I'm such a fan of self-made, self-taught people. Like, I can't tell you. Like, I hate people got excuses. Like, oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I didn't go to school. I didn't know. I didn't have no help. That's everyone's claim. I didn't have no help. I ain't had no help. Right. So to see two of you brothers actually doing something like this by yourselves without that big help from a machine is I super love and respect that for you. I would definitely go say it ain't by ourselves. You know what I mean? We got a good support system around us. But, you know, we getting it done. Definitely. Now, so then that leads to pure, right? Correct. Pure hits off, dope movie. Uh, where can people see that right now if they haven't seen it? Amazon, Amazon Prime. Super dope, yeah. super dope. And if you don't want to get it, just get it for 30 days and cancel it. Watch the movie like three or yeah, four yeah. times. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> they cancel it, they won't charge you. You know what I mean? <laughs> sprinkle a little game yeah, on them, yeah, yeah, sprinkle a little game on them. Real, real. <laughs> get our numbers up. You know? <laughs> and then you got Pure 2. Now, how long from Pure was it for Pure 2? Wow. We we was we actually shot some of Pure Two when we had did Pure One, you know what I mean. So you know, it was I'm, simple. I'm gonna say this though, I believe that the process for Pure Two got a lot simpler because of the history of doing Pure One the and learning, the it was a learning experience, experience. Learning, learning curve, it was a learning curve. Mm-hmm. So you know, having to deal with so many different personalities, and then someone who was in Pure One, who was supposed to be a vital piece of Pure Two, they wind up going to prison. Mm. So I had to go back and rewrite that whole script within like a month. So mm. part two is like completely deviating from yeah. what the book was. And so you wrote the book first for both of these? Kind of. It was one book. Okay. It was one book. 
and I just, we made it a two part series. But we ad libbed some things in between, you know, took away some things, didn't didn't put some things that don't present the book into the movie. But um, you know, we was kind of like innovative. I like that. I like that. now for those who haven't seen it yet, what's the story behind Pure and Pure Two? What's the outline? What can we share with them that made them go click on that Amazon? You know, basically it's about a a, a guy named Nevada who's his father was murdered when he was a kid, mm. and he winds up working for the guy who plays oh, this guy. This guy right here. He did. He feel his father. Him and him and his father and this guy was best friends, and he seen the guy get murdered when he was a kid, and he always held that, you know, dear in his heart. But mm -hmm. he wasn't able to get revenge until he was able to get up under the guy. Mm. You know, it, it plays out, man. It's, it's some it's some things in between there, but it, it plays out real dope. That's dope. Now, Pure Two was that piggybacking off of Pure? It was it still some some of the same characters? I know the main one got sent up, but yeah, all the main all the main characters was there except for that one guy. Okay, you know what I mean, and like I said, he was a vital piece. But we just had to. Only thing we did, we took his right hand man that was with him. And made him the face instead of the YG character. I like it. Now, we didn't stop there, all right? So that's three right now. Bartenders, Pure, Pure 2, Hunger Pains. And before mm -hmm. that, he got cold. He did another movie called Cold. Yeah. Co I mean, yeah. when? Yeah. Talk yeah. about we rings, in, uh, huh? <laughs> no, I had shot a, I, real quick, I shot a video for this uh, for this uh, guy. He was in a rock band. He was a drummer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I thought he had, like, this little Frankenstein look. I ain't, you know. <laughs> and, uh Again, we freestyled that. And this was before me and Deuce hooked up. We freestyled that. So that's on Amazon, too. You that's know what I mean? Amazon. Go Amazon get that. Prime Go get that. Code. It's C.O.D.D.E. <laughs> you know? And the trailers is up on YouTube, too. That's so, awesome. You know, I'll try to put the links for the trailers so people can check that out, okay. too, for y'all. Now, uh, Conflicted. Now we we back now we conflicted. Pains, huh? Oh, hunger pains. pains. See, y'all got so many joints, yeah, man. Got me all we, we apologize for that. Hunger <laughs> pains. All right. Now, what was the, the storyline behind hunger pains? Um, before I get to the story, like you know, it, I had a nephew who was who committed suicide. Oh, my condolences! And he was with us, like every step of the way, he was with us. We rocked out, like he was a very instrumental part of everything that we was doing with Pure. Yeah. He was uh, impure. He was, he was actually impure. He was impure. Shout out his name. Shout yeah. out his name. Young Live, Live, Young Live, Block Boy Forever. But um, he actually committed suicide a day or two before we actually Damn. released Pure Two, the, the premiere. Yeah, the premiere. Oh. So yeah. that was like real, real, that was real heavy on me. And Hunger Pain was derived from his situation. But I didn't want to, I originally I wanted to talk about mental illness because he had to be dealing with something, you know, yeah. that he didn't know about. But and in hindsight, I can see, I see the sign. After, after, after it happened. Fact. But I wanted to touch on some social issues. So eventually we will touch on mental illness, but I didn't want to do it at the time because my sister was kind of still grieving. Mm -hmm. But it talks about the social ills of our community, from drug abuse to um, these kids who got potential getting killed before mm -hmm. their time, um, to um, the single mothers. I, I think that's Everything. important because I don't think our community covers uh, mental illness a lot. Yeah. It, it's not popular though. It's not. It's, it's not. Just, I was always raised in, oh, you got to toughen up, man up. Correct. So, so what that happened? Correct. You know, like so, and it's a lot of situations like that that we that we don't talk about. That's taboo. Like a lot of. Of our females, you know, they've been abused, That's mentally, a fact. mentally abused or physically abused, That's a fact. and we hide these things. So we want to bring some, shed some light to that, as well as like lupus and MS. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because people are dealing with these social issues, mm -hmm. and we don't never bring light to it. So hunger pains is a, a series of short films that's touching on the social ills of our community. I love that, and that's one of the things I love about y'all projects is it has a realness to it. It doesn't feel like I'm just watching Make Believe Land. In some of these movies, you see some stuff, you're like, man, there's no way that could really happen. When I watch you guys' projects, right. I can relate. You know, not just me, whoever I'm sitting with can't relate because we know somebody who's been there, been through it, or we heard about those stories, you know, that people haven't shared. So that's really dope. So then the hunger pains. After hunger pains, we have conflicted now. Correct. Correct. All right. Now, um, conflicted, how did that come about? I was actually writing conflicted before I was writing hunger pains. But again, going through that process of me just not being motivated because what happened to my, my nephew mm -hmm. and my moms, he was like, yo, bro, get up off the couch. You got to get back right in. So That's Hunger Pains really, mm -hmm. it was a separation and us to get back to working real quick. But Conflicted, um, it just was, it's a, it's, a, it's a fictitious story that I just created, um, just talking about the conflicts that we take, that take place in our community from um, our friends backstabbing us to 
baby mom is not keeping it real, mm -hmm. or you know what I mean, just all the conflict yeah. that's taking place, mm -hmm. you know, in, in in our in our society. Now, for the people who want to be writers, how hard is it to write these scripts and, and to get mm -hmm. these thoughts out of your head on the paper? <laughs> you know, I write, I write. I'm at my best when I'm going through something. You know what I mean? Pain brings out the best, they say, in entertainment world. Yeah, it does. Unfortunately. Yeah, you know what I mean? So um, I just have to do it. Every day, just get up. If they don't do nothing but write one word, write an idea down. You don't always got to write all the way through. Just write your ideas down. Write your scenes down. So um, it's therapeutic to, for me because I could be somewhere out of my mind somewhere. Knocking people so, in the head. You know, <laughs> you know, or, or on pills. I could That's be, a fact. You know what I mean? I could be mentally ill. That's so, a fact. This is a way for me to channel that energy and, and, and bring my thoughts to, to reality. Now, on the filming side, mm -hmm. what helped you get your game up? Was it just over time doing it? Was it watching other yeah, movies? Just or, over like, time. I mean, I'm, a, I'm still a student of the game right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm learning every day. But a lot of it come natural, like with the angles and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, we watch a lot of movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you see how the transitions go. You see the type of shots they get. Mm -hmm. But see, that's the thing. A lot of people... They want to do something, but they don't want to do the homework. That's a fact. They just see the, the finished product and they say, okay, I can do that. You could pick up a, a camera, but you don't know the fundamentals of a camera. Mm -hmm. So that's what I had to do. I had to learn all the fundamentals. You know what What's I mean? um, some tips you could give those future film directors out there that some key, key tips that they have to do? Study your craft for anybody, for anything that you're doing. Don't just think that it's going to come. You got to put your work in. That's what people don't want to do. They don't want to put the work in. Yeah. They think it's easy. So you got to put your work in. You know, I'm at a point right now where I don't care what camera you shoot with, I will match that with color. You know what I mean? I will match that with quality with anything that I'm working with. That's dope. You know what That's I mean? That's dope. How hard is it to edit these these projects? It's, you got it. You got it. No, listen. No, for real, listen. You have to be passionate and kind of crazy about your, your craft. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Because, I mean, I'll sit there for like, I could sit there for 12 hours and it feel like an hour went by. Now, I'm Ooh. like, yo... Kids going crazy, the house all messed up, and it's like, damn, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you just got to put that time in. You know what I mean? Now, uh, Conflicted, how do you go about finding the cast members to, to join your projects? Because y'all put so much into it beforehand before you even bring people into the, the project. Like, how do, how do you go about finding who's going to play what role? We, we do um, casting calls and auditions, but I see uh, it's a collective decision, but I see certain qualities in and people that I would see in that character. So not saying that, you know, this person might be a killer, but he might have a, 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 an aggressive mm -hmm. demeanor. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. you know, he may He's be like, a I killer. Work with you know that role. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, right, right. So I, right. I just look for certain qualities in a person to bring, to bring, to make it more organic and not seem like we acting. I like that. I like that. Now let's bring in some of these stars uh, mm -hmm. of the movie here. Uh, you might have to stand up. The mic is mm -hmm. up there. Just free zone. Just free zone. Take your time. Turn the mic to. Turn the mic to. <laughs> you know I'm a little short. Right. Yeah. So I want you to introduce yourself. My name Adian. I play Valentine in the movie Conflicted. Now what is Valentine's energy in the movie? What's his his character? So <laughs> well, um, just a brief synopsis. Um, me and uh, he says, uh, me and Hunter, y'all yeah. educated, yeah, me and Hunter, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, me and Hunter. He just, <laughs> just a synopsis. Hunter comes home, which is uh, Deuce, who's played by Deuce King, and um, he's the confliction is he wants to do right, take care of his family, provide for his family, and I'm still in the world. Yeah, I'm still in the world now. My 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 relationship to him is that I need him with me, all the way through. So no he the the battle is. He's battling with trying to become a man, stand up for his family, and I'm trying to draw, uh, draw him back, back into the streets. Absolutely. Oh, that's so real. Ooh, I just got dope. goosebumps. Yo, what's going, yo, you, yo, you got to listen. Uh -huh. what? The movie going to be dope. You got to check it out. It's not just a movie. It's a movement. I it's like not that. just for us. Right. It's for the city. Yeah. Right. So we, we doing this for everybody who's dealing with those issues, like Deuce King said, like Reed said, and we all learning the craft together and pulling for the city. I love it. Now, Rin, now you're a comedian. I know, right? right? <laughs> I'm used to seeing you crack jokes and all that good I stuff. Know. Why don't you explain your character in the movie? Um, my character is Brianna, and I play a very conflicted, emotional woman who's involved. Women emotional? <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Man, you gotta see the movie. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like my character is just all over the place. That's that's really all I can say without giving without too much, giving of, too much <laughs> of her. Because yeah. if I get into that, it'll be all over the place with her. So, um, but yeah, she's she's a 
a quite a character. So, and I definitely see some of yourself and myself her. and her. Yeah. Now, so. how hard was it for you guys to get into character? Was it not difficult at all? It well, wasn't difficult. Some some of the things, no. some of the things, some yeah. of the things was hard to get into character <laughs> right. about. Yeah, some but of I'll say that for the movie. But you know, naturally, uh, again, when you go through certain things in life, and again, this movie deals with some certain social issues that right. we can all relate to. We can relate. That yeah. I think you know that what is. I mean? and, and I think that when the people see it, they'll be able to relate to. Like you said about Hunger Plains, Pure One, Two, yeah. and and it, it's it's really it's really one of those joints that's gonna grab you. Right. Please check it out. Yeah. I like Please. it. I like it. Now, um, you not in this one, right? No, I'm not. I got a short part in it. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really behind the scenes on this yeah. one. Yeah. Right. And speaking of getting into character, without these guys, like I did acting like ten years ago. But mm. these guys right here, that the direction was like spot on. Like yeah. you would man. Like they, they know was, what they doing. They know what they doing and they'll stop, cut, and then they give some direction and you be like, oh, okay, I get it. And they pull it right, right out of us. And so that yeah. we couldn't do it without Stove, Reed, Deuce. Like, it, was, they really... it was really like this was the first film out of all of the films that we had that we took the time mm -hmm. to have, like, what we read with the cast. You know That's what I'm dope. saying? We I Like when Reed was saying a lot of the stuff we did was kind of right on spot on. This time we took the time to do like took the whole cast and do readings and we got together every Saturday and got mm -hmm. the parts. So I we like was trying that. to pull a character out of all of them. You yeah. know what do I mean? you feel that it came to, it came together better that way than yes. the yes. other ones? Absolutely. I think everything went so much smoother on this go around. The whole aspect of making the movies went kind of smoother. The time constrictions and things like that. You know what I mean? And getting people in the character. So this was the one that I say we really was professional. Y'all becoming a well oiled machine out here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know what and I'm that's saying? That's what it's about. And the good thing is about I would say this is it's what we doing for the community. All our movies are Buffalo actors. You know what I'm saying? Say that. By the grace of God, we end up getting some special people in this one. I don't want to put the, you know what I mean? Get a can, whole can thing Can we draw away. some hints? Can we draw yeah. some hints? We got or? Benny the Butcher in the Ooh. joint. We got Jay Holiday in the joint. I like it. We got another special A actor coming in here, A list actor. So. You know, I, like I don't want to drop the bomb yet, but this one is going to be that film. Trust me. But I you get you those that. type of people from having a history of good quality and that don't right. work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So shout out to y'all for doing that. Definitely. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Now, I actually got to see these guys work uh, firsthand because I got my little cameo on. Yes, I did. <laughs> I say like two words and I blink twice. You got to catch me blink. Catch me blink. So I, I really did appreciate y'all professionalism because like uh, Rima said, I did some acting back in my day and I did some hood acting and I did some uh, professional acting and you guys are right up there with the professional. Right, like, absolutely. Even the whole vibe and energy, how you guys conduct your business is really dope to me. Yeah, that's the great thing about it is that we, we recognize, I say Deuce and AK, we recognize about um, the talent that we have here in the city. You know what I'm saying? For right sure. now, we have, it's, it's a good time to be a Buffalonian. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Buffalo popping yeah, right now. Buffalo right? popping. <laughs> we got one of the most talked about rappers. The, the Bills Griselda, is winning. Yep. You know what I'm yep. saying? Yep. Our team is winning. So. <laughs> I'm telling mad <that> jokes. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, yeah. So it's, it's, it's just, it's really good now. And I just like the fact that we um can take our, you know, platform and, and give it to other people in the city so they can shine you know what i'm saying that's what it's all about each one teach one that's dope because you don't have to you know especially especially when you got a good written piece of work y'all could go out to hollywood somewhere and be like i'm gonna pick him him or go to atlanta somewhere so to come back home and do that yep. is really super important and and i'm gonna invest in people you know what i mean i'm, I'm real big on investing in people and investing in relationships sure. i believe that i'm able to get things done with no money, that people who got money is mm. not able to get done That's right. because I build relationships and I invest in fact. people. I don't invest in things. You that's know what I mean? Fact. So, and I think that that's that's the real reason why we able to, um, as far as the city, we able to get everybody involved because we just not going from my neighborhood or his neighborhood. We going yeah. east side, west side, uptown, right. down, down. And the love is real. Yeah, like yeah. it's not like yeah. fake love. People love what y'all doing. Like yeah. genuinely. So they, they they've embraced us, you know. Yeah. I, I, just, I just went to a, a um, I went to a, a real estate, um, a real estate meeting, probably about a week ago, and some county legislators recognized me and was like, "Yo, we man, love what you're doing. If you tough. need some help, man, we with you." And that made me feel so good. I was like, "Man, it ain't, it ain't just the people that's down in the mud with me. It's the people that's up in the." In the they starting to take office. notice. Starting to take notice. 
Now, how hard is it to find scenes, like the locations for your scenes? As I'm writing, I'm already have an idea of what I know what I have access to. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to write about jumping out of a plane and I don't got access to a plane. Uh, but <laughs> Makes sense. I might not write about, you know, the groove because I know I got access to the groove. Or I might write about the oak room because I know I have access to You know what I mean? So yeah. we uh, put things that we have access to within the script. All right. You know All what right. I mean? Now, what's one of the hardest things you guys come across? What's maybe your uh, conflict of trying to get these projects done? Me, it's the egos and the personalities within the people. People still acting Hollywood here, the local people? So <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Huh? Judge Free Zone, Judge Free? For me, it's the personalities. That's what mm-hmm. I have to deal with within myself that I have to catch myself and not go overboard. You Does Deuce King have to choke him? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You know I mean? <laughs> we, got, we got to suppress it a lot. We got to suppress it a lot. But, I mean, that's natural. When you come together and people are excited, you got to kind of expect that. You know what I mean? So we're doing a better job just dealing with that. You know what I mean? Now, when is this movie supposed to drop? Next year. Um, we, we got a premiere. <laughs> 2020. Do we have a premiere lined up I mean, yet? You know, if you want to save, if you want to save, you know, you uh-huh. want June 20th, uh-huh. we want client hands this uh-huh. time. Uh-huh. June 20th, client hands, it's going to be real special. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. I think that's the day before Father's Day, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. super dope. Yeah. So, ladies, bring your guys out. And let me just touch on another thing, too, you know, going back to, you know, how people can actually get with other people. You have to do that. You have to link with like-minded individuals. If yeah. you want to do something, you can't just think that you're going to be the only person that's going to do it. You got to link with other people that's doing what you're doing. I think it's so easy, too, with us being from New York. Like, we all, I feel like the attitude of, I'm going to do it myself. I don't yeah. need y'all. A lot of people it's have heavy, a hard time with that. But I don't think you could grow as much as you could grow if, like you said, if you guys come together and make sort of a transformer type of oh, machine, man. we work well can take over the too. world, you know? I think that's yep. important, too. That's one of the main things is that we all work really well together. And it's, it's no one person. Like, we we know Deuce's position. They know my position. Mm-hmm. But at any given day, I could say, yo, Stove, you tell me exactly what you want me to do, and I got you. Right. So we don't we don't have no egos amongst us. You know so what I mean? I'm glad you touched on that. So it's super important to keep that humbleness to Absolutely. yourself. Absolutely. To work with people. Everybody in this room is a boss in their own right. I mean it. So I don't want to keep a whole bunch of people that's beneath me, around me. Mm-hmm. Or somebody who may be, somebody feel... And supporting it. No, I want everybody to feel important. I want everybody to feel like, you know, they can take on a leadership role because I might not be here. I mean, so he might have to pick up the, the slack. Yeah. Or he might not be here and I got to pick up the slack. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like um, a basketball team. I like a that. A center can't do what a guard do. That's a fact. The coach can't do what the owner do. You know well, what, what the so, players can do. He better sit his butt on the sideline and call them mean. plays. That's right. We got our point guard right there. Come on, introduce the introduce yeah, the point, him, point guard. Right. Introduce the point guard. Step up there. What's your name? Monique, but everybody calls me Mo. Mo. Now, now, what you do, Mo? Oh my goodness. Everything. Every don't you do? I have my hand in a little bit of everything, but in this for conflicted, I've got a little small role. Like John over here. Um, so, yeah, but it, I'm really excited. It has been such a pleasure working with such a tremendous amount of talent. Same with you. Um, the energy is, is I think, one of the, the, the main things that the mm. city has given. And just the, the unification of everybody has been so overwhelming. But you guys are not going to be disappointed. You are going to be amazed when this <laughs> I, comes I can't out. remember the last time um, I've seen... The city be around something that like one thing, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I can't really like put my mind on it where I've ever seen that before. So that was a shock to me. That's what made me kind of want to reach out to these boys. Is I I've been seeing everything they're doing. All I hear is good. So I'm like, who are these people? I want to meet them. Yeah. You know. Now what's the process of getting these movies done? How long are you you filming and all that? How long does it take? Well, uh, I think this one was the best. I think we we have a yep. got this movie done. We'll have it done in 16 shooting days. Oh, y'all sound like so, Tyler Perry. Y'all yeah, ain't playing yeah. no so game. So the whole month, of, the whole month of October, we shot this movie. Mm-hmm. This movie will be shot, Amazing. completed, and then it goes into the hands of the Doctor Reed. You know what I'm saying? After that, we leave it alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? I might not talk to Reed for a couple of months because I, I know, know he's putting that sauce on. Putting it, it you together. Know what I mean? right. So, yeah, um, you know, with Pure and a couple of other ones, they took a little bit longer, like I said, because it was a learning process. Mm-hmm. But conflicted, I'm telling you. 
the way that everything has come together, people are going to love this film. Absolutely. It is, it, it is one for any movie theater, yeah. any network. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that big. I like that. I now, now, Reed, how long does it take you to edit these films? Uh, just for those out there who want to get into this type oh, wow. of business, you know? Listen, first of all, I got to have my coffee. <laughs> you know, uh, one cream, no sugar, you know, in case y'all want to hook me up one day. Um, it's going to be a good four, four or five months. Four or five yeah. months? Yeah. And that's I mean, some of the scenes on. where it's like uh, we may have a scene right. where somebody got a weapon. Fishing. Right. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm showing you that somebody may have a weapon. Right. It's right. It's all right. right. It may some scenes may take three days on just something that's a half of a minute long. Three yeah. days. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. so like I said, you really gotta be passionate about your craft because you will quit if yeah. it's not for you. So that's a lot of a lot of times people they get with something because it looks good. Especially but it's not when for they see them. someone else doing right. it. Yeah. Yep. yep. And guess what? You know, I've done a lot of things. I'm real creative. I, right. I draw, you know, music. like the music, producing and everything. But once I got with this, I'm like, okay, this is my calling. I mean it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I just had to be with the right people. Right. Mm -hmm. But the way the universe is starting to align, align stuff, I ain't it. gotta, I ain't gotta do too do much it. work. <laughs> yep. And, and we gonna have the, the soundtrack is gonna come yeah. for this. Are you, you back uh, spitting them hot bars, oh, hot yeah. fire on the soundtrack? Huh? You know, huh? we gonna bring Audi on back uh, and let him uh, sing uh, back. You know, oh, so you do hey, music you too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The man said, do I do music? Oh, man, did the man just ask me, did I do music? You said you was gonna spit some bars. I put out one of, listen, You said you was gonna spit some bars. Listen, I put out one of the premier albums in Buffalo, New York called Frozen Water. The town knows about this album. Now, where can they get it? Where well, can, right now, um, I, I'm thinking about uh, putting it out again okay. um, when the movie comes out. But so, I put out an album called Frozen Water. I can't take credit for it. Um, Ty C, G Brown, um, you know, Ty Clark, uh, my, my big brother, David Williams. Uh, a lot of people were influential in this, in this album. And and you can do the history of it. This album was um, the first independent record off an of independently owned black record label. Dope. Ill Block Records. Dope. Shout out to Buffalo, New York. Frozen Water, the album. I had another album out called Kill Em Breathing. So we uh, we gonna bring the music back with this um, with this movie here. To, uh, now, Judge Free Zone, if you yeah. want to spit a couple bars, I'm not mad at you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save the couple <laughs> bars. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it, man. We're going to spare it. Yeah, during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't spare the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we got bars. Hey, y'all, promise. Listen, listen. Listen, ask them about Adion in Buffalo, New York. They're going to tell you, man. Man, we got bars. I promise. <laughs> People probably going to call in like, yo, your boy got bars, man. So I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to take the, you know, the time up with just the music. We're going to put it on this. We're going to do the score for the movie. It's going to be dope, man. I like you know how I mean? all so you guys Buffalo are like, up, like selfless. Like no one's trying to like, you know, say, no one's Michael the, Jackson and the Jackson the Five. Best guys to work with. Like dudes pulled me in like over a year ago. Like oh, talking fun. Like um, you know, like basically just I see something in you. Like yo. Come on, we rocking right. and genuine, good guys. Stop, they like I. This team, I said, even if the next the next movie, because it's gonna be another and another and another. <laughs> right. and I another. said I'm gonna be up there holding the boom. I mean, because <laughs> these guys they humble. They you don't be around. Everybody's comfortable. I tried to pull in a couple local, um, up and coming like makeup artists and everything. I mean, they yeah. were yeah, around and they were just they That's were so dope. excited to be around and just they were welcome into them like these guys were great i'm right. like thank goodness i got on <laughs> and I, 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 I just want to reiterate on what you're saying about the music we will have a mixtape for I this mean, a mixtape for this movie the, the mixtape will be anybody <laughs> like local artists in the city that want to submit their music and I stuff like, for the right. mixtape but the official movie the official movie album will be by uh bsf benita butcher and all of them they're gonna oh, do you the can't lose the thumb so, boy you know what i mean so that's it's just a good thing that you know everybody in the city is kind of working together to make every project grow. You know, what I'm I saying? feel like this is gonna have to be part one. I feel like when the movie <laughs> drop, we got to bring y'all back up here and do another one yeah. because there's so much to cover. I can talk to y'all for hours, right, though, right, right. <laughs> I don't know how much of a battery we got left. Yeah. In that camera. Yeah. <laughs> now, who can we shout out that's not here? Let's shout out some people behind the scenes. Who's holding the boom? Who's doing the lights? Shout out some of the people who couldn't come up to the studio today. I yeah, Rick, shout out to Big Rick. 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 Nah, Big 
Big Rick. <laughs> Big Rick, he's another part, uh, oh, intricate man. part of this um, whole team. Rick Nardo. Nardo, Nardo, my man Nardo, big up my guy, you know what I mean? Uh, Everybody. Well, uh, my man yeah, Jeff, yeah. my man Robin, Jeff, my man Robin Jeff Star. taking the taking Ronnie. the pictures behind the scenes. That's right. Ebony Eyes is in the movie. Yeah. Uh, who else? Yeah. There's so many people. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, Akia Griffin. Akia yeah, Griffin yeah, is doing yeah. good thing. That's one of the ladies job. in this movie is doing a they do, excellent man. job, bro. Amazing. Like they making it real easy. I'm telling you, that it, I just can't wait, bro. I'm so excited. Yeah. The town is going to be very surprised at this one. I'm hyped for y'all boys. Like, I had a major part in this, and I did. So now when this is all done, are we looking to put this on Amazon, too? Well... Are you going we, we, we to... Too much? We, 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 you know, we, know, we, we know we have Amazon <laughs> as a secrets, platform, but this, this, might, this might be... Nah, this I, this will be the one, I think, that take us over to the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can, we can take this to Lord willing, anywhere. Lord willing. At this point now, it's a lot of good things going on that's happening for the city right now. I mean it. We definitely a part of that paradigm shift. Absolutely. So when we do put yeah. this out, we want to make right. sure that the city get a lot of glory from it too, because yeah, we really we showing them a visual of Buffalo, because for some years they had a, a misperception of what Buffalo. Yeah, was. they thought it was right. cows right. and right. horses out there. Yeah. Right. 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 That's it. You know what, so what, I, what I wanted to say was that when we was touching on the, the Eagles and thing, one of the things that that has been touched on a little bit, I just wanted to reiterate was everybody does know their place, and that's humbling. That's a humbling experience. Yeah. Everybody knows their place. Like Dude said, everybody here is their boss in their own right. So, but if you, if he's doing the music, everybody be quiet, let him direct the music. If he's directing the movie, everybody be quiet, let him direct the movie. So everybody is pulling together, playing a role, and it's a great humbling experience. Man. They say if you got a vision, mm -hmm. and people say that it's okay, then it's okay vision. But if they say you crazy, then you got a great bit. Oh, you better start and that song. You and better that say that. No. And, <laughs> right. and I'll drop my gym that I heard from somebody. Yeah. There we go. The only time you see success before work is in a dictionary. I right. mean, oh, 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 we got the jewels now. Well, just like that. Oh, wait, I got one. Oh, no, <laughs> drop some jewels. No, no, jewel, it's jewel dropping time. Yeah. Drop some jewels. If you got yeah, one, well, drop it. You got I one, drop it. Deuce, deuce, I know deuce, deuce, I know you got some yeah, jewels, dude. Well, I got a jewel. Um, Go ahead, follow me, it. too, on um, That's not a jewel. Instagram, That's a follow. Instagram, Rima Rima. That's a follow. She's like, what's the difference? Nah, everybody plug yourselves before we get up out of here. Where can they find you on social media? Man, again, it's Adian Dashilan on... um. IG on Instagram. Um, again, we're putting out some new music. I'm going to be having some new music coming out. Nobody rush me. Please let me go through the we process. But new music right. is coming out, man. New album gotcha. probably going to be called Eat Food to Be Food. Okay. Pull right. up. I am underscore AK Refilms Instagram. Okay. Stover.j uh, Instagram. M go ahead, Mo. 11. Reen? Oh, I'm. At Rima Reem, okay? You see Both the head, Facebook you know she's and serious. Instagram. I'm sorry, I was in character for a second. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, Deuce. All social media platforms is Deucey King, D U E C E K I N G. And just like that, we out. Conflicted I mean, the movie. Man, uh, we got to bring these boys back up here when the movie hit. Man, I appreciate all y'all taking Thanks the time out to speak to us. Thank you did a great uh, job. No so worries, man. Great great appreciate job. you. Appreciate all day. All day. Well, since still about money, here's my last two cents we meet again. Chase a dream, not the money. Dream I'm it, in. believe it, put God first and achieve it. You know the steal. Mama on the radio. Come on. <laughs>
that if you have a vision, believe in it. Believe. They say if you got a vision mm -hmm. and people say that it's okay, then it's okay vision. But if they say you crazy, then you got a great vision. Oh, you better right. talk and, that. And, say and, that. And, 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 and on that note, and, and, I'll, right. and I'll drop my gym that I heard from somebody. Yeah. There we go. The only time you see success before work is in a dictionary. Right. Oh, oh, we got right. the dudes now. So just like oh, that. Oh, wait, I got one. Dude, it's dude dropping time. Yeah. Got one you got one dropping. You got one dropping. Give me the dudes. Dudes, I know. Dudes, I know you got one. Well, I got a dude. Follow me, too, on Instagram. That's not a dude. That's a dude. She said, it was the difference. Same thing. Now, everybody plug yourselves before we get up out of here. Where can they find you on social media? Man, again, it's Adian Dashanan on um. IG on Instagram. Um, again, we're putting out some new music. I'm going to be having some new music coming out. Nobody rush me. Please let me go through the we process. But new music right. is coming out, man. New album gotcha. probably going to be called Eat Food to Be Food. Okay. Right. Plum. I am underscore AK Refilms Instagram. Okay. Stover.j uh, Instagram. Embraced11. Green. Oh, I'm. At Rima Reen, okay? Both hands, Facebook you know, and Instagram. Right, right. I'm sorry, I was in character for a second. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, dude. All social media platforms is Boosie King, B U E C E K I E G. And just like that, we out. Completely the it. movie. Man, uh, we got to bring these boys back up here when the movie hit, man. I appreciate all y'all taking Thanks for having us. Thank Thanks, Thanks for having us. You did a great job. Oh, no, Yo, thank you for having us. Yo, that's all real. Day. All day. Well, since it's still about money, here's my last two cents we meet again. Chase the dream, not the money. Dream I mean. it, believe it, put God first and achieve it. You know the still. Mama, I'm on the radio. Uh -huh.